Well, imagine leaving all the comforts of your home behind to live alone in the wilderness, deep wilderness, for an entire year. That's exactly what author Robert Cole did. And he writes about his experience in the Patagonian wilderness, his book, Solitude, Seeking Wisdom in Extremes. And he joins us now to talk about this book. You, you've spent a lot of your life traveling parts of South America, especially the Patagonia area. You spent some time down there. Why did you want to spend a year cut off from everything else? I feel a call to do it. There's times when just there's a deep inner call that wants me to take off and hook up with the non-human world. And if I don't follow that call, I start to kind of wither up and die inwardly. Did you, before you went on this venture, I mean, are you a type of person who spent a lot of time on his own? Or are you a, a social person? Was it, was it a departure for you? Or is it something you found it was easy to do? It's both. I spend a lot of time alone. And I also have deep relationships with people. So, While you're down there, do you find yourself missing out on, I mean, you're down cut off from everything for a year. You find yourself missing out on, uh, once you got back, on some of the world events? Uh, I'm not cut off, really. One of the reasons I go is to become more deeply connected. So I, one of the reasons I go is to, to sink down below the social chatter and find a, a deeper connection with the world and with other people as well. So there's a sense often of being woven into the universe. Talk about some of the, uh, the, the environment there. And I mean, you're, you've got the Andes Mountains there. You've got yep. a lot of river. And we're seeing actually some of the video. Uh, talk okay. about the environment. It's amazing. It's, it's the, one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. So it's radical. It's very far south. It's like halfway between Vancouver and the Queen Charlotte Islands as far as latitude goes. So the ocean froze sometimes in the winter. Hugely windy. It's a savagely <laughs> windy place. Three or four meters of rain every year. Um, the mountains just soar right up out of the sea. So it's, it's got all that going on. And, and, uh, and there's nobody there. For a year, I didn't see anybody. I saw people once that the government came to look for me to make sure I would survive. I mean, you're fishing down there. Are you, are yeah. you going out? Like, Are you hunting, gathering that deer? Or did you take some supplies down with you? Or no, you just... I, I took what I needed to survive because you, you, I'm never sure. Right. And, and so you I got to have a few medical supplies and a few yeah. things in case you can't catch that fish or find berries. Exactly. Or... Yeah. So I was fishing, but everything else I, I took with me, mostly rice and beans, dry stuff that I could survive. This is kind of an experiment for you. To, you talked about getting in tune with yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is testing the, the human body, but the human mind as well. What did, what did you find? Well, one of the challenges often when we read about or hear about somebody going off to live in the wilderness, it's man against nature. And my, my whole reason for going was to shift out of that, to be with man with nature, to feel a part of it and supported by it and woven into. So that, that's the huge challenge, because the ego doesn't like to give up. The ego likes yeah. to, you know, I can tough it out. And so <laughs> to give that up and, and actually become part of is, it's, it's wonderful. And the world comes alive. There's a sense that everything's vibrantly alive, even the rocks and the sky and, and spirit is everywhere and everything's sacred. And Do you ever get to a point where you're like, oh, what was I doing? What was I thinking? Frequently. <laughs> Frequently. <laughs> but you stuck it out. Yeah, because at those points, when, when the, there were definitely lots of times I thought, I don't want to be here. But I've been in enough places that I knew that when I feel that way, I don't want to be anywhere. So no matter where I would right. be, I'd have the same <laughs> feeling. I don't want to be here. Well, it sounds like a fascinating book, especially with some of the, the video we saw of that. So it, uh, the book is Solitude, Seeking Wisdom in Extremes. Dr. Robert Cole, uh, we appreciate you coming in, and we want to let people know about where you can see Dr. Cole. It'll be uh, at Elliott Bay Bookstore tonight. Six o'clock. Thank no, you for I'll coming. be showing slides and telling stories there. Excellent. All right. Thanks okay. so much for coming in. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. That looks really good. Thanks a lot, Greg.